Arnab Goswami on the debate at 9 presented by Amity University powered by RP Sanjeev Goenka Group the new Kia Seltos Century Ply Epson Eco Tank printers and Motorola Razr 40 Ultra co powered by Sera and Musk Good evening and welcome ladies and gentlemen back to one more edition of your favorite favorite debate show Ladies and gentlemen it has been my proud privilege to lead India's number one independent news network and in the course of our journalism it is also my continued privilege to have the opportunity of seeing republic partner with some of the biggest names of corporate india who believe in our journalism who support our journalism today i come to you from what will now be rebranded as the century laminates century republic studios century is a leading corporate house of eastern india that believes in innovation and disruption much like much like the republic network does and therefore i would like to begin by saying we are deeply grateful for this partnership and look forward with the support of the leading corporates of this country leading business groups of the country leading believers in news to constantly innovating and improving the quality of news the quality of debate as we head into the general elections of 2024 ladies and gentlemen i come to you this evening from the century laminates republic studios as you can see viewers at the start of this debate i wish to make a few key points once again on the situation in manipur I want to begin by saying that the situation in Manipur causes me concern and causes you concern as well. But I believe that there has been far too much politics on this subject. We must understand the situation in complexity. And I believe that that is not the case. Now tomorrow I am told a group of members of parliament will be going to Manipur on what they feel is a fact-finding mission. Firstly, Do we need an all party delegation in Manipur now? Will it help the situation on the ground? Or is then an a, 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 a direct and clear attempt to extract as much political mileage as possible from the situation in Manipur? Unlike what fake news posts on social media may be telling you, the reality, the reality is that the situation in Manipur, Touchwood is slowly beginning to come under control ladies and gentlemen i have a few facts with me which i wish to share with you about the situation on the ground and i hope that if you have the opportunity you shall share this with all those in your immediate circle as well viewers there have been violent clashes between two communities which has caught the administration and the state government off guard but i also would like to share with you that sources in the government are telling me that the number of deaths from clashes or from violence has been steadily declining in fact no deaths not a single death has been reported since july 17th 2023 which is a 10 day period this tells me that if we hold on together if we believe that we can bring things under control then they will and they shall Ladies and gentlemen they must for the larger national interest they must is this therefore the time is this the moment is it correct to make this more intensely political will that help ladies and gentlemen as we report the situation we must also say that while there have been isolated clashes between two communities which have been happening over the past few weeks the frequency of the clashes has been declining sharply and the government the central government and the state government are trying their best to restore some sense of trust for only trust and ladies and gentlemen only and only trust will bring back normalcy politics is not going to bring back normalcy politics will complicate the situation viewers i am told now that the congress party feels that it has a lot to contribute to the situation in manipur and without the slightest dose of sarcasm i wish to say 
to Rahul Gandhi and to the Vadra Congress, they have already contributed negatively enough over the years. You will be shocked, viewers, but during the 15 years of the Congress rule, under the leadership of Chief Minister O. Ibobi in Manipur, there were 1,728 cases of fake encounters. In fact, the things were so bad that the Honorable Supreme Court had ordered an investigation into the matter. So I want to say to the Congress, what rights do they have to lecture now? We have a situation on the ground. Ladies and gentlemen, we have a security situation on the ground. And I think that instead of wrenching the last bit of politics over it, we need to understand there has been no casualty in the 17th of July. Government offices are open, they are functioning. The state government has ordered schools to be opened. They are registering an attendance of 82%. The attendance in government offices has picked up to 72%. And there are 57,000 people, both Métis and Cookies, who are living in 361 relief camps, which are providing relief and rehabilitation facilities. And this is not a band-aid kind of solution. This is healing. I only wish to say tonight, let there be healing. For when there will be healing, there will be peace. This is not the time, ladies and gentlemen, for the opposition to scratch at the scabs of decades of ethnic conflict, which has sharpened now. Ladies and gentlemen, let's debate.